Today I'm going to show you how to change out your blade on your table saw. In my case, it's a Ryobi and it's a 10 inch blade. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that it's unplugged. The second thing is, is removing this throat plate. And now this is where we can get into the mechanics of the saw. The next thing you're going to want to do is remove this riving knife. Obviously it's a little bit different with some saws, but literally with mine, I'm just going to pull that up right there. And that just releases just like that. Then grab your tools that came with the saw to go ahead and remove the blade. Next you're going to grab your tool and there's a little notch right there that it's going to sit in. That's where you need your tool so that way your blade doesn't continuously spin. Go ahead and find that notch with the tool. And it sits down right in that groove that I showed you. Now what you're going to do is use your other tool to grab onto the other side. Go ahead and loosen that nut right there. Once it's loose enough, you can remove this nut by hand. So twist this off until it comes off. And you're going to take this little metal piece off as well. Just like that. Now you can release your blade. Notice how the teeth are facing towards you. So when you go ahead and put on the new one, make sure that orientation is the same. There's the old blade. Go ahead and grab the new one here. And again, you want the orientation of the blade to be towards you. When you put this on here, make sure that the blade is in this little groove. See that um, that groove right there? It needs to be in this little pocket. Before you slide it on that right there. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is put this washer back on. Make sure you remember the orientation of the washer. Put it on just like that. And then you're gonna hand tighten your your nut. As tight as you can go, hand tight. Okay. Now we still have our tool right here that's holding that from spinning. And now we're just going to tighten that nut down so the saw has no chance of moving. Now we're just going to place this tool back on the nut, all while having this piece on right here so this blade doesn't spin. And you're going to tighten it down. Okay, you don't want it crazy, crazy tight to where you can't get it off, but you definitely want it tight enough so it doesn't move around. So. We already had it hand tight. Now we're just going to do a couple more. Okay. 
how you're just going to reattach the riving knife. So in mine, it literally just sits in these grooves right here. And you'll feel it kind of click in. That went into those holes right there that you can't really see. And then tighten this back down. And that's good to go. Put the throat plate back on. You know, yours could be different, but mine just has this little like tab in the front. So this goes in the back, just like so. Then that gets pushed down right there. There you have it. Now it's ready to go for more cuts.